I'm going to disconnect it right now. And to bind it, what you do is you have this little binder plug, they call it. And there's a, I tag mine with, with the remove <laughs> before flight. Um, but what this binder is, basically, if you're ever in a bind, all the binder is, that's, I didn't mean to be funny, but all the binder is, it's a short between the two, the two connectors. The two outside connectors are shorted. Um, and basically just through a loop of wire, that's all it is. And then there's two binders, one's for male and one's for female, um, because there's other ways of binding. You can put it in series of, if you have a, if you have a switch involved, um, you can put this in series with the switch and that helps. But right now we're just gonna use this one. I have it stuck on this little clip on the end and I'll show you what I do with that later. But this kind of comes with a kit and you can, you can shove it in here and it'll stay, stay on. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we, we bind it. Um, so basically you take this and you stick it in the, the battery connector and I like to use this one on this side um, and it just it just plugs in just like you would just like you would the uh, a regular servo connection so you just plug it in there and now when we turn it on when I connect up the, the power what we should see is we should see the lights start flashing and also right now my radio is turned off. As we turn on the power, you see how these guys are just, right now they're just flashing up a storm. So that means it is ready to bind. Um, it's waiting, it's looking for a signal for, for the, for off the radio. So as that's flashing, what you do is you take your radio and it's shut off, remember? So then you take your radio and you flip it over and on the back, there's a button, uh, this little green button right here. Hold that in, and as you're holding it in, reach underneath, or and keep your hand on it, and as you're holding it in, you switch on the power. Now let's see if we can see both at the same time. So you switch on the power, and you just keep holding it. And you hold it and hold it until those lights go solid. And now they've all gone solid, and you let go of your finger, and now you are bound. And we can... So you'll see now that, that they are all solid. Um, and this is the state you want it. When, when you're launching your hexacopter or your helicopter or whatever, whatever you're using, you want to see that this is, um, this is solid like this. If this is flashing, there may be a problem that it did not bind properly with your radio. And uh, when you turn everything on, um, that's what you want to see. And again, a little bit difference is you want to turn the radio on after your, your copter's turned on. So you turn on the copter, turn on the radio, and then you should be ready to go. But again, you want to see that all these lights are solid like this. And then another test to do is to just take a servo and uh, we'll stick it in the, um, the elevator here. I just have a servo that's just fresh out of the box. So to test it. So I just heard the servo go. Um, but you just want to just double check. This is on the elevator. And we just want to make sure that it's, that it's working. And which it is. So now you know that for sure that...